Okay, no, what I was going to say is, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But what was Carol I s- Baskin? <laughs> Carol Baskin? I don't know what you were saying. Well, the point is. The A list. Hey everyone, welcome back to the A list. It's me, Alex, and across from me and to my left is the wonderful, beautiful, talented. Um, Allie, son. Wow, thank you. Um, across from me and to my right is a great party planner. A great <laughs> no period. Just that's it. <laughs> a great party planner, <laughs> Alex. Hell yeah! Hey everyone, well, Alex is feeling spicy tonight. He's got his sunnies on. Listen, I'm in, I'm so far away from you. You, we Hello. are so far away. We're from each eons other. apart, but that's because everyone sometimes. You hurt your back, and yeah. when you hurt your back, is it back, from editing so much? I don't have a proper desk. That's definitely part of it. But also, I when my sister was in town, I was couch crashing. Yeah, you already told me that. I don't know why. I genuinely didn't know. But why. no, you're right. <laughs> if I was, if I had a proper desk set up in a chair, why don't you go to any? There's a million places in your, in your where you live. Sure, 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 sure. But I don't have cell Community service spaces. or oh. like there's no cell reception or Wi-Fi in any of them yet. There's so. No- Nope. That's silly. So truly, I would be, you know. If we could tell you where he lives, we would tell you not to live here. Yeah, which really sucks because it's <laughs> otherwise. Wait, if you ever move out, we'll we'll tell them. If I ever make move a out mental of here, note. If I ever make it out. <laughs> if you ever make it out, we'll make a mental note to yes. tell them not I to I thought live you were here. saying if anyone ever moves out and wants to know. <laughs> if you're moving to LA, <laughs> please to let LA. us know. And we'll give you a, a no, I'm recommendation. I'm not trying to dox you. I just. No, 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 no. Whenever the time may come that you're not here anymore, we can reveal where this is and not. That really sounds here. like when I've perished, you can share. <laughs> when you're no it. longer you're here, here we'll make sure to let everyone know we not to live at blank, 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 We'll blank. drop it in the comments. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers. You're having a, a non-alcoholic elixirs. beverage. Yeah, I'm having what is called Illicit Elixirs Vegas Debauch Berry. It's fruit and fizz, and it helps support your dopamine production. They're not paying us. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. Stanley's looking quite cute. He, I wish I the don't, camera can you see him see in the camera? No. Mm. Well, if you could see him, guys, you would know that he's I being really real cute. really need to rest cute. my arms today. That's okay. I just cut you off. I'm sorry. That's a, How could you know you don't have headphones on? I heard myself talk over you. Got it. Copy. <laughs> Copy. We're recording a day earlier than we normally do yeah. right now because you have an engagement tomorrow. I do. So not much has really happened. In, not much more has happened in our that's lives. That's not true. Can we talk about your birthday? Well, yeah, yeah. That's the first on my list. I'm just saying like other than that, we don't have, we haven't accumulated, you know, another day's worth of stories. Since the last time we've spoken with you, lovely yeah. listeners, we had we kind of have a, had a pretty busy weekend, TBH. So mm-hmm. Friday night was kind of chill. I got some work done. And then Saturday was Allie's birthday celebration and actual mm-hmm. birthday. Yeah, that never happens. It's very That's rare. That's not true. I mean, it, it does happens, happen. But it's but like, rare think, that it works out. I yeah, feel like, that it's that a weekend, like you, that we're, there's nothing that going on. Available. Yeah. And... As you know, in the last episode, I asked her what she thought she was going to be doing. And her yeah. guess was board games <laughs> at the Santa Monica Pier and then dinner. So yeah. I will say, like, I guess you're not very far off from that kind of a... It's kind of... It was yeah. a similar feel, I guess. But Yeah. Yeah. Like a something, you know, staple uh, LA. Yeah. That where we can, like, socialize, but also, like, do something we've not done. Yeah, or, I don't know why I said that. I just was under pressure because I've... I've been to the pier, so I wouldn't right. assume that you would have taken me to the pier. Hey, it's okay. It was a good guess. Not that I would have had a bad time, like a Noted. few drinks and play some, you know, boardwalk games and like oh God, ride the, rides the roller are so coaster. Cute. Yeah, I would have been, you know, just as happy. Not, but you know, that isn't what we did, ladies and gentlemen. No, <laughs> if you haven't seen on Instagram, right? Tell them. Uh, we went to the Queen Mary to uh, take a tour, and you know explore which i have probably been saying as long as you've known me yeah yeah yeah. and probably two more years upon like longer than Mm -hmm. that i 
I feel like I've seen a couple YouTube videos, YouTubers that um, Mikey, I don't know if you know Mikey. She's a makeup artist, but Mm -hmm. she has a series of going to haunted places and, you know, seeing if there's activity, seeing if they catch anything. And a few other people, I've seen them go to the Queen Mary and I'm very interested. First of all, I love boats. We know I love the Titanic. Uh, And so this was like the next step from Titanic of interesting, you know, boats, I guess. Yeah. And so you, I finally bothered you enough that you said, fine, we'll go. There were three things in the, on the list. Oh yeah. What were the others? We spa, (laughs) uh, day at the we spa, um, the Queen Mary and the Huntington Gardens, uh-huh. where we were trying to do an activity and then dinner or a meal or something. And those three were like, it was up to that. And then I was yeah. like, let me see what was available at the Queen Mary. And first of all, they offer many kinds of adventures on the Queen Mary. Oh. I saw three different tours. There was like historical, haunted, and Hollywood. Oh, I, I was like, all of these would be interesting. Yeah. But I was like, for a birthday, we got to do the haunted one. Yeah, that's the one I would have. If you had asked me, that's the one I would have chosen. Yeah. I mean, so I'm sure good. we would also really enjoy the historical I would have one. I will go back two more times and yeah, take well, both yeah, of them. we need to go have dinner there because <laughs> I we assume were, if they have all three, then they have different information. Because he didn't really give us a lot of information well, yeah, about the boat in no. general. It was really just like here's the area you're in, and here's a ghost, ghost story. story, either a sighting or, or yeah. someone have died. So. Truly, I feel like there would be different information in all of them. Well, we passed one of the tours and she was explaining something about the grand staircase. Like we didn't get any of that information. Oh, yeah. So that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was very fun. We got there apparently right before it was starting because as soon as I walked, you guys had been there for a few minutes before my car got there, but yeah. we walked in and it was like, here's your wristband. Let's go. Yeah. They were like, we don't, I was like, Hey, they're, they're parking right now. And she was like, Oh, we don't hold the tours. Yeah. I was like, Oh, so what <laughs> happens if they don't make it up here? And she was like, they can, we'll help them find you. Oh. They'll just, they just might miss a couple stories. Yeah. And I was like, no, Allison cannot miss no, there the was first like story. Two to three minutes to spare. But, but they I were feel wa- like as we soon as walking. I got my um little bracelet, then there was maybe like a minute or two that went by and then the guy approached. He was sort of um this tour guide was yeah. what I if you've ever been to Disneyland or Disney World and you've been on the Tower of Terror, those mm. workers are not they're a little spooky, but they're still like, you know, nice enough yeah, yeah. and they're not like mean to you. For sure. Um, I would equate this man's demeanor to one of those. Absolutely. Workers. Like has a little magic in him, like, you know, comes around the corner and gives you a spook, but it's yeah. all and it's not, you know, he is demonic. not tired of the, <laughs> and he's not tired of the script. He yeah. loves it. He loves it. And it's like all in good fun, like a little, a little jump scare, but it's not like, but that's what you want in a tour feeling. guide. Yeah. So I really enjoyed him. It was very fun. I have never had a ghost experience in my life. I know mm-hmm. you have, you can tell them about Gladys in okay. a second, yeah. <laughs> but I've never had any ghost experience. So there was one part of the tour where we were at the front of the ship and he told the story, um, a real story about how they had collided with another ship because a ship of that size takes 10 miles to stop stop once they like put on their brakes. So they couldn't stop. They collided with the ship. It killed like 37 people. I think he said, and so it was the very front tip of the ship down towards the bottom Mm -hmm. of the ship. Right. And, so he was like, this is where the most deaths have occurred. We're in this spot. Um, and so it's like probably the most ghost activity. And I will say in that part, it was very dark. We went downstairs. It was like a pretty confined space. I did have like a tightness in my chest, but it also can be explained as we were in, you know, below small water, small quarters. The air was thin. Yeah. So I wasn't. 100% like there's paranormal activity here. But it was not It was a bad feeling. It wasn't good. It wasn't great. Our friend um, Susanna had lots of feelings. Yeah, she She did. was feeling a lot. But yes. she's also a very intuitive gal. She does Reiki. She does like spiritual yes. things. So I believe her. Mm-hmm. She protected us all too. But I had nothing. Did you feel any activity? Just at moments I would just feel like little rushes. But I'm... I have... 
I have seen a ghost. So yeah. like, <laughs> do you want to tell I know the about feeling. your ghost? Listen, her name is Gladys. <laughs> she kind of looks like Cher. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Long black hair, white pantsuit. Very friendly. Does some weird stuff. Haven't seen her in years, though. So didn't she open up all of your cabinets? Cabinets. Or yeah. And then she followed me to three houses. And then one of the last ones I lived in, we came back and the freezer door flew open and the ba- all her bags of berries just like came out and just like dropped Gladys's them. berries. <laughs> all of Gladys's <laughs> berries. No, the person I was living with. Yeah. And like one night that same house, we were watching TV and this friend used to rest her headphones like on her TV, like hanging on the corner. Uh-huh. And we're just watching Big Brother. And all of a sudden they just go and fly off the TV. That And we both just saw it happen. That is insane. I know. And I know that it's wild because like until you see it, even I having seen these things, I'm still yeah. like, it no, I get it. It doesn't feel real. Me. Like yeah. even my brain is like, no, that, that probably. It can be explained. Yeah. Because like my best friend from home, there's been talk of activity in her, like the home in which she grew up. Her dad still lives there. Okay. And it's like. Um, a glass on the dining room table, like her and her brother both have witnessed this glass, like sliding across the table. Oh my God. And to me, and it's like, it's a big joke about the, their grandma and it's a, it's a funny story, but like okay. to me that I can explain that like condensation on the cup. Okay. Yeah. Like makes it slide. If you're, if the home is not uneven, if we're working with, you know, the foundation is sure at a slant, like sure slant. That is the reason. Yeah. And but I don't just like if they believe it, I, I believe you. But I have never had anything, and I don't welcome it. I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want to be scared. Right. So I'm not welping, welcoming it into my heart, but I also feel like lots of things can be explained. So that's like where I am, but I am very interested in it. <laughs> yeah. And I really love Yeah, you don't dismiss stories. it, which is nice. No, I, tr- I truly believe everyone that has had an experience. I totally believe you. But for me, maybe I just have a weird, like, impenetrable, impenetrable? Impenetrable? Impenetrable. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, aura about me that just they you could stay be a away. New soul too. I was told by our astrologer astrologer that I am a like intuitive person. Like I'm someone who could be a medium based on my chart. Okay. I choose not to tap into that. If it, it's in me, it's not happening. You're not, but he told me I could. So be. you must be actually be an old soul then. <sighs> well. He t- also told me, have we talked about this? I don't remember this. It might have been on Traumedy, but like over the past couple of years, our whole friend group has gone to see this astrologer mm-hmm. who reads your birth chart and he can he does other readings. And we've known people that have gone to him and then t- taken his advice and changed their life and it has worked out for the best for them. Yes. So you were the, f- when I first met you, you went mm-hmm. to this astrologer and you had a great experience with him. And then you were told everyone like you should do it. So one by one, our friends <laughs> went to him. Yep. He has no idea because he doesn't register who anyone is. Right. Because as soon as you sit down in his chair, he just starts talking yep. and he's like spouting off information and everything. So there's no like getting to know him. It's not like having a, no. It's not therapist a doctor's appointment. Or a doctor's therapist. appointment. Yeah. It's like he is tapped into whatever. And as soon as you sit down, it's just like, go, go, go. Um, so we all went one by one. When and he I went, it, which is nice. Oh, I'm sorry. And it, he records it, which is helpful because of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because when I left there, I was so, yeah, I still can't remember a lot. Yeah. I would have to go back and listen. It really isn't valid anymore. I would need to go back for the next an year. Up, an update. And I don't even know if I, you know, yeah believe but it was a fun thing and what stuck out to me most is he gives you like a past life reading so my past life reading he told me that I was a royal which you know I love yes and but I was a man and my people did not like me and I was like taken down in some way who do you think you were I'm 100% King Nicholas. Oh, right. Okay. Russia, the last czar. Yeah. 
I you don't always... believe any of this, but you were 100% him. <laughs> no, it's just like... <laughs> no, I know. That's who I choose to believe that I am because I have had so much... Um, much like, you know, the royal British family, I am also very interested in the last czar and right. the Romanovs mm. and Anastasia and all of that. I find that so interesting. I've been watching yeah. a YouTube video that was three hours long and <laughs> I watch it, in, watched it in segments like, yeah. of their whole history and man. Fascinating. So I just choose to believe that that's who I was in a past life. Okay. What did he, what were you in a past life? Uh, I was a leader and a warrior and the last, I don't remember if he said the last time I was on earth or if it was, or if he said one of the more recent, whatever. It was like very, either recent or the last time I was on earth, I died okay. in a great battle in the Middle East. In the Middle East? Yes. Did you have any guesses of who you are? No. I don't know that I was, I was gonna a, say Mulan. I, don't, <laughs> that wasn't the I would love that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't know. We'll have to do some research. I have considered going to him for a past life regression session. Mm -hmm. It's just like I don't know that like I'm terrible at meditating as is, and I just don't know if it would be successful because you have to get into a state of almost hypnosis. Wait, I love meditating. Should I do it? If you're able to get into a meditative state, like I'm not successful at it, so. I mean, I think I'm pretty good at meditating. I don't. We'll check the price because I'm pretty sure it's also expensive because so it's what long. So is, what does that entail? So you he gets you into like a trance-like state mm -hmm. and then he's able to ask questions to your spirit guides who will talk through you about w who you were in your past lives. Okay. Or sometimes uh, they'll come out as like memories. Like you'll remember oh things like... That didn't happen in this life, but you can remember them specifically. Is that about. opening me up to supernat su to supernatural things? No, okay. I would read the book if you care. The book, uh, "Many Lives, Many Masters," very quick read, but also I have the audiobook, and it's a therapist who has a patient. You told and me it's about this. this. It's an actually insane, and you, I would just listen to it for the sheer fascination of what this. Yeah, what I this feel book like you talked about. about that. It's wild. I'm interested, and in, guess what? If I can afford it i might do it just if nothing else for the story nicholas of czar magic getting validation without telling him wait Dennis. yeah <laughs> that'd be crazy because i you don't say anything to him when you're there you literally are literally silent not a thing. he might ask you a question like about your job or something because for me he was really picking up on like dance and oh yeah Stuff like that without me telling him because yeah. you don't give him any information. I guess you put in your you know credit card information. Well, that, you get send him a PayPal. Yeah, so I don't know other than uh, is my name on there. Yeah, well, yeah, he has my name. So I guess sure if you're a naysayer, maybe he googled me before, but um, he definitely didn't know who I was because when I was there, he was like, "When was the last time you were here?" And I was like, "This is my first time," <laughs> yeah. and he was like, "Oh, okay," and then started going so. He didn't remember me, but that would be crazy if he yeah. said that. And I've never spoken that to him. It's only been to my little friend group. Well, we should look into that. Could be fun. Could be fun. So yeah, we went to, <laughs> to bring it back. We went to the Queen Mary. Then we went to a, would you call that like French American fusion? Yeah. I was going to say, cause I was trying to, my dad was asking today and I was trying to explain to him the cuisine Yeah, and it wasn't American expired, but it did ha expired. American it was inspired American French inspired. Food. Um, but there was like an emphasis on cheeses and cured meats and, you know, bur like brie and burrata delicious. and flatbread and very much, you know, things that I had in France, but American but good. inspired. It was great. And we um, went to Pinkberry, Pinkberry and had our last little chat. And then we parted ways. Yeah. It was a magical night and I had a great time. Yay. And Thank then we had that. Susanna's little birthday the next day. Slash yeah. the Oscars. Went to a bar. A busy Watching the Oscars at the bar was hard. Yeah. And I meant to go back and watch like, watch it or look through it but i didn't make it did no, you i did not well i have the oscars just to talk through you know the big um uh, awards yeah um best picture was oppenheimer yep which i watched that night 
You did? Did you love it? Mm. <gasps> no, I loved it. No, I was what like, What didn't fine. you like about him? No, no, I did not like it. I was just like, oh. It is too long. Like, yeah. I don't. Other than, I also like wanted, really wanted to like Emily Blunt's character, but like it seemed random and unnecessary. Yeah. I know that he w- the, she, he had a whole thing with his wife, I understand, but it was like they didn't do her justice, I don't think, in the film. Yeah, I honestly, I love Emily Blunt. I do too, so much. An unmemorable part. And yeah. also Florence Pugh was like a lot. Yeah, I didn't expect that to go. I guess, I guess because they're trying to say that he's like a terrible guy. Well, so yeah. they use that to do it. But I, I mean, I loved it, but I, I also love history and Josh Peck is in it. So yeah, Josh Peck. It was a recipe that was so exciting to see. for my love. He pushed yeah. the button. He pushed the button. Um, so well, no, he didn't push the button. He didn't need to push the button. Correct. But he was there. He was ready. Um, best actor was Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. Best actress was Emma, Emma Stone. Stone. She made me tear up at the bar. And I haven't even seen that movie. I would like to see it. Tear up at the bar. Got it. At the bar. So you saw her in a bar? <laughs> we were at the bar. Just chatting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, made me tear up. She was really sweet. Divine was supporting. Is it Divine or Divina? Divine. All right. Well, uh, my computer autocorrected. Ah. I suppose. Um, yeah, that was supporting. Original song was What Was I Made For by <laughs> Billy and Phineas, which also I'm Just Kin was up for it. Like, why was that nominated? It was. I'm oh, that's why kin. he performed it. That's right. Yeah, Performance was great. So I thought good. it was so cute. Yeah. So many people didn't know who Slash was. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, who's this guy? What? Slash. Even yeah. I know that. I don't even know anything about him, but I know his name. Yeah. That's interesting. That was fun. I feel like he always pops up. He does. Especially in award shows. Yeah. It's always like, we need a Iconic guitar guitarist. solo. Yeah. Slash. Um, supporting actor was Robert Downey Jr. Honestly forgot and from Oppenheimer, but he I had forgotten him. I think that I just didn't register that that's who that was when I was watching it. Yeah. Cause he, he does look totally different. different. Yeah. And then, uh, best director was Christopher Nolan, which how weird was the speech from Al Pacino? Do you, did you see that? He basically just like walked out and he was like, eh, I have, the thing <laughs> and he was like in my eyes see oppenheimer like he didn't say and oh, best that, the winner did, for yes, best picture is but like it didn't it was anticlimactic because and he people, didn't like say any words like that it wasn't like and the winner is right best picture goes to my eyes see Opp- it's right. my eyes see oppenheimer right but no what? one wants to move because of the la la land fiasco of fucking yeah but what years ago. and so i saw that he issued like an apology today. I ha- I didn't read oh, it, wow. but it was like he had to say something because everyone was like, are you okay? Which, no, he's a million years old. Yeah, a million years old with a brand new baby. Last year, baby at like 80-something, 80 83. Oh, crazy wild. That kid is... Never he's going to know be, him. No. What, when was your first memory? My first memory? I can't answer Four. that because I have none. <laughs> Four. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess if he lives four more years, then maybe faint memories but yeah even if he lives 10 i guess 10 years 93 yeah. but there's not like he's not running around with him but that means playing. his wife or whomever is at least under 50 hmm let's see right 30 years old hold on this is wild i didn't know she was that young <laughs> that's crazy 30 and she just she's 30 which means she's been with him since she was at least maybe 29 28 <laughs> yeah we, we don't have to get into that but whoa that's wild all right he's I'll 83 cool it they met at a dinner they and struck up a friendship get it girl i mean whatever <laughs> my god 53 years older than her yeah that's a lot it's imagine, interesting. Imagine not meeting the love and of your life. And by that, Alice, I mean it's interesting. Allison. What? Imagine not meeting the love of your life for another 20 years. <laughs> Kill me dead. No, no. In 20 years, they'll be born. <laughs> Kill me dead. Oh, in 20 years, they'll be born. No. <laughs> I know. In 20 years, they'll be I born. You were and then say, you'll have I'm to wait. Meeting... And then you'll have to wait 30 more years before you can be with them. I'd rather, like, no. <laughs> 
I can't. It's and so hard in these streets and to give it that much more time. And on the flip side, imagine being, you know, hip hop Allison. That's what I refer to you when you're in <laughs> high school. For sure. For sure. And imagine being like, can't wait till I'm 30 and get to marry great grandpa. <laughs> I can't like I no. can't imagine her ambitions were anyway we don't need to talk about Al Pacino's baby mama but we wow. don't but I need to I wish I knew more about their relationship. yeah me too me too maybe we'll have to look into it we should look into it how have you not talked about the scandal coming out of Kensington Palace Alex it's on my list I wasn't <laughs> getting there yet because I didn't want to you know I was the, like Oh, she's not texting me about this. That means she's saving it for the podcast. I have so many notes. It's okay. First of all, before I even knew what was going on, I just yeah. want to say, if you're, if you don't know what we're talking about, there is this image of Kate Middleton with her three children posted for mother's day, UK mother's day. Yeah. And then immediately the internet was like, uh, this is AI. This is not real. Fake. Yeah. Without, I was wa- scrolling through TikTok. All TikTok. of my videos are this TikTok. I was scrolling through TikTok and I came up and I was with no sound, which is, I do this a lot. I'll just like see if Same. something visually catches my eye. And I see the picture. I'm not reading anything and I'm just seeing the picture. And oh, you me, had no context. No context. I look at it and I was like, that is a terrible Photoshop job. Yeah. Without even hearing anything. And so then I turned the sound and I was like, oh yeah, because it is a terrible Photoshop job. Yeah. And like... How any, how, how did no one went, it went to approve? How did it get approved? That herein lies. Also, it's unheard of. I know. Herein lies, I'm going to start from the beginning. If you don't know, I think we talked about it a few weeks ago, but just in case you're starting here new, Kate Middleton is the princess of the royal family. She is married to Prince William. And in January, I believe, she... Uh, no, they December. Pu- oh, December. They put out a statement and they said that she was going to be not in her doing her duties from then until Easter, that she had abdominal surgery and would be in the hospital for two weeks and then would be recovering in their home for the remainder of the time until Easter. And we had discussed that that is a long recovery long period. Long time. So it must be something serious. Yes. And also, like... King Charles is kind of ill and there's a lot right. going on where like uh, William who is estranged flew back because they found out about the possible cancer. I mm. haven't really heard more about no. that. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but then this Kate situation and then there's been like uh, someone died. The, for, the last Royal of Greece died oh recently and Prince William was supposed to be at the funeral and last minute bowed out, citing, like, I think I wrote this, uh, family, personal matters. So he didn't go to this. And apparently, like, that that person was... That was pre this photo coming out or post? Yes. Oh, okay. Like, okay. but recently, like, yeah, within yeah. the last two weeks. Okay. Um, And apparently that man was kind of close to the family. So it was... Like him being there wasn't just a courtesy. It was like this man, he knew this man. Mm -hmm. Um, And so then, yeah, this photo came out that was clearly Photoshopped. One of the hands is blurry. One one of them doesn't have her wedding ring. The kids, um, the daughter's arm is weird. There's like weird lines. The steps behind them. The greenery was. Yeah. Because it's like, people are like, it's winter. This is not. Yeah. So it's. It was unclear whether it was just a Photoshop job or an AI compilation. Okay, well. But regardless, bad. They bad. posted this photo for Mother's Day. Then the backlash came that you were talking about. Everyone's like, this is Photoshop. This is like, what's going on? Um, the Associated Press. They killed it. Killed the photo. They That's said, wild. we believe this has been doctored. We are no longer um, giving it to people. And we're asking you to stop using it. Then uh, the royal Instagram account and probably to the press as well uh, sent a note out from Kate Mm -hmm. saying, and I put that in quotes because who knows, uh, saying, so sorry, (laughs) girlies, (laughs) I'm an amateur uh, Photoshopper and I was just playing around. No way. Dead ass, Alex. Let me find it to read it to you. Okay. 
I've got it up. <clears throat> yeah, I can't believe you didn't know this. So it was just like, you know, text. And yeah. it said, like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. Um, oh, this is on Twitter. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. And I hope everyone, I hope everyone's celebrating a very happy Mother's Day. Weird wording at the end. <laughs> that is but shady. She, that's not real. Like she did not say that. No, she's not editing that. No, even if she's not recovering, that's not like no way. The only other thing I saw was that there's a paparazzi photo apparently of her in a car, but people are like, no, this is not her. Yeah, both. So there's been two now. There was one with her mother. Is that the one you saw? No, I saw just her alone in the car with sunglasses. Okay, so there was one where her mother's driving. She's in the passenger, but big sunglasses. Oh, it might have been that one then. And then there's one um, with her and William. Oh, no. And she's like on the far end, and her head is like tilted away from the camera. Body double. That's what they were saying. For sure. So here's some theories that I've been, because my whole TikTok is this. Yeah, yeah, let me hear it. Lamb on me. Um, one funny one is that she got a BBL because <laughs> the, um, apparently like they did the math. That is fun. Yeah. Apparently someone did the math on the recovery time yeah. and it's like the exact amount for when you get a BBL. Definitely. She didn't get a BBL, mm-hmm. but funny. One of them is that she's actually like in an induced coma and Easter was maybe the time they predicted they might be able to bring her out of it or they would hope that she would come out of it. One of them is that they're getting divorced and apparently there's some family that lives near where their home is that they live most of the time in the country and that he's had an affair with this girl who the girl who he is, has an alleged affair with. She wore the same shoes the day of their wedding that um Kate wore like the night before at their rehearsal dinner and people found that out and they were like e. you're the side chick or yeah. whatever they may just have a similar right Kitten stylist <laughs> yeah like they might, might since they're friends both use the same stylist and because yeah. this girl's a, like a part of royalty maybe not to their family but in she's in the know. circle yeah, so, but there is the theory that they're getting divorced because it's being compared to Diana. There's a picture in the car where Diana's also looking sad and whatever, and it's like maybe they're just figuring that out. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. And they thought they'd have it figured out by Easter. Easter. Yeah, so I don't know. But to me, it feels like medical. Yeah. Like she had an emergency hysterectomy. She had an emergency surgery in general. And Mm -hmm. it's like, they just wanted to give her enough time. They wanted to pad the weeks in case something went wrong or she had the surgery and something did go wrong. And it like, you know, they need extra time, but it feels like that to me. It feels something's up. Yeah. But you know what? If he cheated on her, (laughs) Her, his mom will be rolling in her grave. Yeah, and it's just like, why? Like, your dad, you're just following in the same footsteps? Like, get a grip. Yeah. This is all alleged. We'll find out on Easter if we've heard from them, and then we'll have to talk about this again because, mm-hmm. you know, I am so interested. We will. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be, I would like to introduce a new activity. Okay, I'm so excited. All right, everyone, welcome back to Acting with Allison. Oh, no. The game, or with the help of AI. And some prompts from me, a script is produced and we will be acting it out as a way to perfect your acting skills as you pursue your dream of becoming an actress in Hollywood. (laughs) Oh, I forgot I was doing that. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Remember? (laughs) So we'll just, we're going to, every now and then we're going to do this. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I gave, like what the prompt is. Okay. And then it's always going to be a two person script and please don't be intimidated by my acting abilities. (laughs) Are but you sending me? I'm going to text it to you now. Okay. And you're going to read. You guys, I'm so bad at acting and he knows this. And he's just trying to get some, some like it's bits It's so me. good. No, Allison, what, like what I'm trying to do here is just get you some practice. When did I say I was trying to be an actress? You don't know. You don't know what is about to blossom from you. So. For sure. Okay. So I'm. 
texting it to you okay wait so while he's doing that should i audition again for big brother yes i can't go to the open casting again it was torture well don't do that then if i do i'll send in a video but i need to know what the viewers think (laughs) also i'm slurring my words a little bit no you're not drink is absolutely out of this world (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. Here's what happened. I haven't gotten anything. I'm going to text it to you once oh. I've read you what's going oh, on. Oh, I thought I was waiting for it now. No, I no, I'm ready, I'm, to so sorry. Per- I'm ready to hit send, but not yet. Okay. Great. The prompt that I gave AI was to give me a short script with two best friends hanging out in, sp- hanging out in space who love pop culture and are looking down at Los Angeles. Okay, cute. That was the prompt. All right. Here's what I got. <laughs> the title... I'm going to text it to you now. Okay. You're going to be reading for the part of Lily (laughs) and I am Jack. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I got to expand. Okay. Okay. Characters. Jack, a seasoned astronaut with a love for Earth's pop culture. (laughs) Lily. Yeah. A newer astronaut with a keen interest in urban planning and a soft spot for Britney Spears. That's me. That's you. So (laughs) whatever you need to do to get into character. Okay. We're in space. Close your eyes. Here's the setting. Aboard the International Space Station overlooking the Earth, the vastness of space stretches out beyond the windows with a stunning view of Los Angeles visible below. The scene opens with Jack and Lily floating in the main module, looking out at Earth. Jack, gazing at the Earth. You know, Lily... Every time I look down at L.A. from up here, I'm reminded of how peaceful it all seems from a distance. It's beautiful, isn't it? But it's hard to imagine the chaos of the traffic from all the way up here. (laughs) Oh, the infamous L.A. traffic. I do not miss it one bit. Up here, it's just us and the stars. No honking, no road rage, just serenity. I used to spend hours stuck on the 405, dreaming of being somewhere like this. And now, here we are, floating above it. (laughs) Speaking of dreams, did you hear the news about Britney Spears? (laughs) You mean about her conservatorship ending? (laughs) Exactly. It's incredible to think that after all these years, she's finally free to live her life on her own terms. I know. I've been following her journey for so long. It's like a weight has been lifted off her shoulders and mine too, in a way. (laughs) It's amazing how someone we've never met can have such an impact on our lives. Her music was the soundtrack to many of my road trips through that LA traffic. And now we're listening to that soundtrack of the universe with no traffic jams in sight. (laughs) It makes you wonder, doesn't it, about freedom, how we take it all for granted down there. Up here in the vastness of space, you realize how precious it really is. Absolutely. It's like we've broken free from the constraints of Earth, even if just for a little while. It puts everything into perspective. Yeah, it does. And it reminds us to appreciate the moments of freedom we have, whether it's Brittany finally controlling her own life or us floating above the world's chaos. Here's to freedom, Jack, in all its forms. (laughs) To freedom, Lily, and to Brittany, the princess of pop, finally ruling her own kingdom. (laughs) Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Whoa, it sounded like we were lovers at first. I know, but no, we're just, yeah, it's just, which is, I know, the impetus of a gay straight relationship. Any of this. I gave it no, I said I said pop culture. I didn't say Britney Spears. You said I love Britney Spears. No, that was what it gave me. I gave it, I literally oh, said, write me I a script you told them. about two best friends in space. Write me a short script about two best friends in space who love pop culture and are looking down on Los Angeles. Oh, first of all, and you then, can't see Los Angeles from space. No, it's no, no. too far away. No, I know that that was going to add to the comedy of it, but yeah. it gave the character names, breakdown, scene, everything. I did not once say Britney Funny. Spears. Funny. It's just like pop culture equals Britney, Britney Spears. Sp- pop culture in Los Angeles? Yeah. Because it's AI, That would so be funny if you looked out the window, but you were only like 200 feet above yeah. the earth. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, how I would was like our to, acting? I I personally think that for you claiming to not be a good actor, that was pretty good. That was a solid six and a half. Here's my thing. 
could I be a voice actor? I'd do that because yeah. I feel like I can like have nice inflections for sure. It's the, it's the physical of acting. It's the face. It's the body. Like we'll work on it. We're working on it. This is just the start. I did and audition I for a Kohl's commercial you. and I didn't get it. So a what commercial Kohl's. So that tells me my acting's bad. Just, yeah. That one audition. <laughs> Anyway, good job. That was fun. That's you only have one. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see how you'd fare. Now that I know it's a, it's like yeah. something you're pretty good at. We're just gonna keep doing it and get better at it. If nice. you have any ideas for any fun prompts that you'd like us to act out or scenes you'd like us to do, please let us know. Yeah, I mean, I, we're here for your or disposal. Comment it. Yeah, let us know what <laughs> what scenario would you like to see me and Allison in? Be appropriate. <laughs> Or not? If <laughs> some fan like smut fan fiction between okay, us, that's kind of right. fun. I, I don't know if Chat GBT would do that, but yeah, for sure they would. I don't think they do explicit stuff. Okay, it doesn't have to be explicit to be sexy. Well, that's why I said be appropriate. Fair. Um, so this like sight reading situation also kind of reminds me of karaoke. And one, how do you feel about karaoke? Mm. And two, what's your go-to songs? I'll be honest. I haven't done karaoke that often because I take it too seriously. It's because you're too good. No, it's not even about that. It's that because I'm a singer, mm-hmm. I try to you're be like, good. You're like, yeah. So it's like, I I would even love... Even if you're really oh, drunk. sorry. That was the other thing that we were going to maybe do for your birthday. Oh, We like were going to rent a karaoke Town? room yeah. and do that whole thing. Can yeah. we... Th- okay. I think it would we be fun for anyway? us to do... But like the, uh, it's literally like first you have to commit to buying a bottle. Okay. Is it what, how expensive? The cheapest that I, on there was 200 bucks. Then. Okay. Split between eight people. Isn't that bad? Sure. But our group of friends is not, do you need to answer that? Yeah. Dorita was just calling me. Oh fuck. Sorry about that. So my, we were talking about karaoke. Yeah. And did you talk, you didn't talk about your, you just said that you take no, it too seriously. I just said seriously. I take it too seriously. So I don't, I, but I have. King of Wishful Thinking is my go-to, or if I'm, I like, I like doing it with, like, if it's a duet, in which case I'll do something like, yeah. you know, party or not party or world. I know, a but will you only world. duet with someone who's also good? <laughs> huh? It's a great question. Huh? It's a great question. Um, depends on the song. Depends on the say song. Say we want to do. Say I want to do. <laughs> um. I don't even know any like upbeat duets. Upbeat? Oh well, the most common. What's the is, Sunny and Cher song? I got you, babe. <laughs> I feel like I could sing that. I got you, babe. Demonetized? No, no, no. Uh it's okay. It wasn't on key. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was so shady. <laughs> no, that was mean. That was mean. That was a read. Um, no, I was gonna say that John Travolta, uh, Greece. I got chills. That's pretty popular. Oh, that's a fun. So what I hate is when people. I don't care if you're serious and if you're good. Mm-hmm. Like I love to listen to people. Yeah, when they're good, it's exciting. When they're good, but um, I don't like when you're serious and you're serious yeah serious. you're a serious singer and then you sing a serious song yeah okay no yeah. one wants to listen Agreed. to a serious sad song exactly. at karaoke. i agree we do not need to hear your italian if rendition gonna, of the prayer if you're gonna be like good and confident and you know you're the best singer in that room mm. but you give me a performance you're doing you're singing the song from greece and you guys are acting you're crawling on the yeah. floor you're giving me yeah a theater big energy then i'm so happy okay i just don't want like susan boyle to Correct. get up and sing like a sad song no right and it's like okay we get it <laughs> i can tell good. you a dream karaoke song of mine that okay no one ever knows to sing with me but i want to sing party for two by shania twain and mark mcgrath i don't know that song i met mark mcgrath so have i I've also <laughs> i slurred my words um you've met mark mcgrath yeah. I put Christmas lights on his house. <laughs> That's cooler. I just happened to be on the same island as him. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I was hired by him to put Christmas lights on his house and you partied with him on an island. At You're right. Billionaire's so birthday much. party. <laughs> no, because I feel like that was more intimate. Like this was just like in passing. He like, was in a bathroom. Hi, nice to meet you. And like, you know. Yes, he was in a bathroom. He's pretty cute still. Yeah. I feel like he looks similar. 
Um, so my karaoke songs are. I can guess. I would love for you to guess. I ain't got one in my pocket. Yeah, anything. Alanis Morissette Alanis is my girlie. Alanis Morissette for sure. Is it Al- Alanis? <laughs> I was just making it fancy. <laughs> It might be. I thought you were correcting me. No. Okay. Um, y- you ought to know. Too ambitious for me, but like I'm confident. That's a belter. Yeah. I really can't hit it like I should, but I love it. So I'm confident I'm here in it. for that. Um, also, the one you were seeing, right? No, ironic. That one's a little bit more doable for me. It's like Ray Yane. That's a belt. Right. <laughs> But, um, so my ex, there was one night that we were both intoxicated and we went to this karaoke bar Mm -hmm. and unbeknownst to me, he signed Mm. me up to sing and I had two choices. Okay. One, refuse and look like a loser. Right. Because it's not... It's not the fun, cool girl right. to refuse and like be weird about it and be like, no, I'm not singing. Totally, yeah. So I had to choose to be the cool girl. You did, yeah. And just go for it. Yeah. I was pretty drunk. <laughs> and he had uh, signed me up to do Britney Spears Toxic. So wait, what was your uh, option two was to just nut up to and refuse. do it? To refuse. Yeah, like... Option one is refuse. Option two is just like be the cool girl. Oh, got it. And yeah, just yeah. not be nervous and not be. Yeah. The the way that that's a hard song to sing. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's like, it's so high. Yeah. It's all head up in your head. Is Britney Spears singing that? Sure. Yeah. All right. I know there's sometimes that. No, for sure. I'm sure she had a help to right. the backup <laughs> vocalist, but yeah, she's up there. So, but I am not her and I'm not a singer in general. So did you dance your way out of that one? I performed the shit out of it. (laughs) There was a girl in the front row that came up and sat in a chair right in front of me. And she was living and hollering. And I was giving dance. I was giving performance. I was giving giving face. Yeah. I performed my way out of that. You made lemonade that night. (laughs) Because Lord knows that I sounded terrible. Is this... One of your exes who came out to you then shortly after? No, it was my most recent one. <laughs> you did this recently? Yeah, I never told you because I was so embarrassed. Allison, I'm picturing <laughs> Hip Hop Allison. No, this was literally last year. <laughs> this is even more exciting bar than City, I ever you, I'm thought. sure you've been to this bar. I don't know the name of it. Why? Because I was black. Was it a tiki out. bar? No. Studio City, very, very small. Brown. The baked potato. Like vertical. No. I don't know, but this is crazy. I can't believe this is recent. It was. I pictured Indiana. It was in July. High school, Allison. It was in July. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I can't believe you didn't tell me that. Also, I congratulations. Because I would, especially at this age, I, of course, was like, in yeah, LA, you're, you're going to nut up and do it. You're it in high school. It was only because I was very intoxicated. And I was like, you know. Was it just the two of you? Yes. Oh, <laughs> there wasn't even friends there. That was so bold of him to do. That seems so out of character. Actually, I wasn't happy about it. Like, I, if I had been sober, I wouldn't, I, it wouldn't have been good. I'd argue that if he knew you better at all, then doing something like that wouldn't have mattered that much because it would have been funny. But it was like, you don't know me very well and you're making me do something. If that... he, it, like, truly to know me, you would know I want to pick my song. I would have sang if you would have said, I really want you to sing. This means a lot to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would have been like, for All sure, right. let me pick the song. I would have never picked that song. I would have picked one of my go-tos or like Reba McIntyre. She's got a little bit of a lower register. Right. I can sing fancy. That's another one of them is fancy. That's a good one. Um, Just let me pick it. I'll be more confident. Yeah. Maybe Adele chasing pavements. <laughs> Can't sing like Adele, but like it's something that I've at least sang in my car at least, yeah. you know, 200 times that I'm more comfortable with. Good Morning Baltimore. Didn't you perform <laughs> that? No, it was I Can Hear the Bells. <laughs> I, right. That was right, my solo. Right, right, right. In high oh, never perform that in karaoke. No, that's so Everyone slow. Everyone would be like, I can't hear the bells. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> One time we went to karaoke, a couple of us girlies. Um, Recently? Um, How will I know now? <laughs> it was probably at least a year and a half ago. Okay, that's recent. Okay, well, I assume you just weren't available because when have I ever hung out without you? I'm just, no, I probably wouldn't have gone. It's kind of hard to get me to go to karaoke. <sighs> yeah. I did do it. But I would hype you up so much. I do vacation karaoke because like mm, they're who knows? never. On the carnival cruise? Not get out carnival. Of here. Car- I would. Carnival, if you want to send us on a cruise, we love you. No, yeah, I, but I didn't. Wink, do wink. Ca- I haven't done karaoke <laughs> on carnival, but I would. You, the way that if you were on a carnival cruise, probably any, and you do karaoke, for the rest of the time, you would be the most popular celebrity on that boat. All of the older women it did happen. Are, would be barking up your tree. It happened. And they would beg you to sing for every night. It, it did happen. Okay, there you go. And I love that. Did any of them pay you? <laughs> No, but but I did win like competitions. You. Did you win money? Never money, just like oh, they should do drinks that. and something else. Oh, um, a uh, cute little over the shoulder bag that had the <laughs> logo that. of the ship on it. Cute. MSCC side. Would you guys want to see us do an episode on a cruise ship? Yeah, let us know because <laughs> we're gonna do an episode from the woods. We are after the seance. <laughs> hate when you do this <laughs> <laughs> i believe i would do Naked. it <laughs> um so yeah there you go okay there that, it is they're in in the karaoke section <laughs> there ends karaoke uh we have a speak pipe oh my god yay we have a follow-up slash additional question from oh. uh booty arm emily <gasps> all the way down in australia good day emily <laughs> Hey, Alison and Alex, it's Broody Army Emily. I wanted to say a massive thank you for answering my last question. Uh, to answer yours, I unfortunately wasn't able to go to either concert, mm. even though Pink is one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Uh, because I didn't have the money, and honestly, I'm saving up for when TFN comes to Australia, whenever that is. When who? I also oh, promise you, Alex, I am definitely not cooler than you. Accent <laughs> on that. I did have another question for you, though. Recently, the trailers came out for the Dance Moms reunion, and I was curious what your thoughts were on the original show and the reunion. Do you guys have fave dancers or dance moms or any thoughts on reality TV as a whole, wow. as expensive as that is? And finally, thank you so much for the podcast. I'm absolutely loving it um, and can never wait Aww. for the next episode. Bye. Thanks, girl. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, you are definitely cooler than I. God. <laughs> Your Imagine if we had Australian accents. It'd be over for everyone. Yeah. It'd so be over. Cool. Um, okay, so I totally understand. Taylor Swift tickets were outrageous, and mm. I went twice. And I'm sure even more expensive in Australia, right? Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, and I haven't been to a pink concert, but I imagine also very expensive. Totally, totally yeah. understand. <laughs> and oh, yeah, you got to save up for TFM because... I feel like by, when, when you guys finally get to Australia, it's got to be big because... I mean, we truly, it is like a big market for us. Yeah. I feel like I see a lot on the map. I see a lot of, you mm-hmm. know, people there. I've got to get you <laughs> to come. <laughs> what job can we give you? Well, can I just go and be a tourist? I would love that. I mean, I don't want you to have a job. I just mean like, I need you to come. I would love to go when to Australia. That happens, so... Um, but yes, Emily, that I'll get there sometime. She will. <laughs> um, so dance moms, I actually have not seen the new trailer, but I assume you have. No, I haven't seen the new trailer. I don't I know what you're, you're talking about. Oh, well, we're going to have to watch it. Should we watch it now? Or yeah, should... maybe we should watch it because I'd like to know because I did watch the original cast. Wow. I did not know this existed. I, Whoa. why did they put Jojo in that outfit? <laughs> But We've, I have something to say about Jojo in a second. I don't know how to get out of this. Emily, I will be tuning in. Um, So my thoughts are, I would love to tune in. I'm so glad that most of them are back together. Yes. We are missing Maddie. We're missing Mackenzie and we're missing um, 
what's her name? Nia. We're missing Nia. Yeah. I wonder what the T is with that. I feel like Nia would be there. Yeah, because Nia's pretty. And she's online. in the zeitgeist of like social media still. It's yeah. not like she's removed herself. So interesting. Either she's working on something else or there's some interesting yeah. dynamic there. But I feel like I see Nia with Kalani on social media. Maybe I'm making that up. Maybe that's been years. I don't know. That is interesting. Though. To be honest, like I haven't really looked into them recently. Um, speaking of Jojo, have you, do you follow her on Instagram? So over the past couple of days, she's been posting, she posted a disclaimer that was like warning from now on, like my content will not be made for kids. So she's like transitioning into her full, like I'm an adult. Wow. I'm not a kid era. And then she's been posting on her Instagram, like new grid uh, stuff. That's like parental advisory. And like, it's, it's very like black and white and like, what is she like? like the up old to Jojo's dead, like this type of thing. So I assume she's you know, having a sort of like, Miley Cyrus yeah. renaissance, which I'm happy for her, but it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Jo -jo. So I'm, yeah, I'm just interested. Yeah. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, but yeah, I was a, so the second part of the question was what do you, like, what were your thoughts on dance moms? Did you watch it as it aired or you watched it as pretty much as it aired? Yeah. Okay. Same. I think the last couple seasons, yeah, I definitely didn't watch the whole show. Yeah. But definitely like at least the first five or six. Yeah. To me, I was a competitive dancer. Mm -hmm. um, although my teachers were not like Abby. Okay. Very much I was so close to my teachers, like, you know, sisterly like. Yeah. And, um, you know, they yelled at us every once in a while if, if we were being, you know, not listening or For not sure. you know taking the notes that we've been given 500 times yeah um but definitely w was not treated like that um even not on tv yeah. i'm sure that abby is a yeller and you know uh yeah. you know giving digs um that was sort of rare for my teachers um so i understand the competition life it's not like what they were doing wasn't real like right. you don't come up with a new dance every week and then go compete it that weekend. You as a competitive dancer, you work on your dances starting in the summertime and then you have at least four to six months of rehearsing yeah. before you start competing. And then you continue competing the same numbers for a handful of months. And then you like national championships are, more towards the summer again. So it's not like they were doing right. where you're doing a new dance every weekend. That is insane. And of yeah. course they were forgetting it. Of course right. they weren't doing it perfectly. Huh? I know. No matter how, you know, good they are, they're not. That is a level of like the most elite yeah. adult dancers. But even then, no dancer can no. keep up on them. So that I part did of see it. the T recently that maddie was like oh no my mom was fully taking me out of school going to the dance studio i was rehearsing she was taking me back to school then the bell would ring and i would get picked up and that's how no one knew that she was oh i didn't see that getting, that's interesting learning why wasn't she just doing online school i don't know because by that time For after sure. i graduated i mean i guess i don't remember how much they're a good amount younger. Yeah, yeah, than yeah. Me. I was living out here already when the show was only on like I season knew, three or I four. knew kids that competed after I graduated high school, so assuming their age, that completely I knew girls that completely dropped out of school and did only did online school wow. so they could dance twenty four seven. And that was definitely an option for her. That's wild. So that's weird that yeah. that wasn't happening. But I'm excited to see this. I didn't even know it was happening. Yeah. So that's exciting. And in terms of the show, um, loved it, hated it most, yeah. more of the time than I loved it. I hated it because I didn't like, you know, the vibes. Right. There you go. And then to answer your broad question, because it is broad, we will talk about reality TV a lot because. Oh my gosh, of course. Allison loves reality TV and I would put myself at a solid like six out of 10. I know. I really wish you watched 
Vanderpump Rules. You know, yeah. Because just, that's airing right won't. now and we could talk about it. I just won't. But I did just watch <laughs> Traders because. Oh, I yeah. Like Let's talk about that. You know what? And I need to take a pause for a second because <laughs> Floribama Shore is my favorite show. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. And I just found out my sister is going to be going to Panama City Beach. <laughs> you say be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> for vacation this summer and i was like oh my god cute what have you ever been there Elsa? no it's very spring break but it is a fun well, that's like the i've point been to destin show. slash pcb yeah but anyway yes we will definitely be talking reality tv of course because we love we're here for it we're here for it i love it so much it's also pop culture yeah um yeah traders were you happy with the winners winner there was a little bit of me that wanted... Spoiler alert! It is a spoiler alert. There is a little part of me that kind of wanted the traitor to, traitor to win. Yeah. But I think Megan made a point that if I had watched last the first season, I would have... Oh, I forgot that you did it. I never finished it. I knew the outcome. But since yeah. I wasn't into it, that it, she was like, you would have enjoyed seeing it go the opposite direction this time. Yeah, I think... La- so the first season, Sari from Survivor won, and it was a masterful game. Yeah. She deserved it so much because mm-hmm. she has never won Survivor. She's played like five times, I think, and regarded it as a very good Survivor player, it just hasn't worked out for her. So it was very satisfying to see her win a game. And then she played Big Brother, and it was a whole thing, and she was great, but <laughs> it also didn't again. work out for her yeah. there. Um, so it was, it was nice to see both sides. I'm a challenge watcher. I love CT. He's had such an arc on Mm -hmm. reality TV. He went from being like such a like fighter. He fought all the time and was like such a bro, um, to like, he had like a heartbreak and like his, he, um, was with another girl from the challenge that she died of cancer. And so like, you kind of saw him go through a grieving process of that. And then now he's a dad and he's very like, he's just a different guy yeah. now. And so I've loved seeing his arc on television and I was very happy for him. And then Trishel, I mean, not sure. like her biggest fan, but because I'm a challenge and real world fan, it was cool to see them win together because you know, yeah. they have such a long history. Um, I thought Kate could have done better. She might have Kate been so able much. to win. She says the if craziest she, stuff and just doesn't give an F. Yeah. And I love it so much. She really might have been able to win if she had tried harder, but or like not tried as hard in a couple well, spots. She yeah, but at the at end, like she had swayed CT to vote out Sandra, and then at the last, um, you know, voting mm-hmm. thing, she voted to end the game, but it was like no Kate there's a traitor. Right. Like someone was murdered. Right. Like that doesn't make sense. Right. So that really outed her. That really like put the nail in her coffin where it was like, okay, well you're the only one who tried to end the game and clearly we need to kill someone. (laughs) I thought my, my favorite was Sandra, the whole episode. Like Uh, she was, did every time someone knocked on the door, that sounds like so-and-so does knock. Did you? Yeah. And she was right every time. Yes. But she's just wild. And then did you watch the reunion? Uh, Yeah how like she was so mad at Parvati for not choosing why did you pick me a traitor yeah it's like Sandra calm down I know I think she could have won as the traitor and that she knows she could have won that's why she's like so upset about it I know I think like but she can't come back on the show she made it too big of a deal I don't but Parvati didn't have a chance oh yeah she could have she she tried to recruit Peter but that she I think that that was was the only only option Yeah, yeah yeah if it had been different circumstances where she could have recruited someone where she didn't have to recruit them yeah then I think if Sandra had put a little bit more work into repairing their relationship, because like if you haven't watched Survivor, I can't go into it, but they have a long history and it's not like positive. Yeah. Um. So they Sandra and Parvati didn't, didn't come in being friends. Correct. So it was like they would have had to do some repairing of that for her to you know do yeah. that. I think, but I think that Sandra could have won if she was a traitor. And are people mad at Parvati for wearing a headbands? I don't understand. I think it's just funny. <laughs> I didn't a even lot of clock headbands. that. But yeah, I guess she did wear a lot of headbands. She did. I was um, so annoyed with MJ at the finale too. It's like, girl, it's a game. And she just doesn't. Was get it, it John that pointed that out? No. Who pointed out? And it made a lot of sense. They were like, "Do you see the divide here? How the people that play these games." professionally are like chill with everyone because we understand it's a game but then the housewives was it a man i, I thought it was john i thought maybe. it might have been janelle but oh it might have been janelle 
but, someone did say but that. like a great point and that was absolutely yeah. true because even phaedra is like not willing to forgive i was fr- i mean i i'm a dan girl like yeah, i, I know, love I know, him I and, and he, i thought he was doing a very good job of being like listen what guys please just yeah. a game but phaedra because was like, he's famous for like he got a lot of slack in his second time playing big brother um because he everyone knew he was such a good player of that game. And so he came in with a different strategy and he upset a lot of people. Cause he like swore on the Bible, swore mm. on his fiance, like gave up his ring for collateral. Like it was like, he did a lot because he really had to convince people. And at the end he was like, look, I, when I play games like this, like I check my morals at the door. I he, he essentially said that same thing. Yeah. And he is just like, I know that it's going to be upsetting, but you know, you assume that You're at the end of the win. game, people are like, you know, shake your hand. Good game. Yeah. Like you said. And obviously the people who have yeah. never played a reality game before are not going to get that. And right. all of them that have the challenge I mean, people, the survivor people, yeah, the big even brother, poverty and uh, Sandra who, don't really have a great history. We're yeah. very chill with each other. It's yeah. like, no, we get it. It's, and like it's a game. Sandra and um, Janelle, who got in a big yeah. fight yeah. at the round table, were cussing at each other. Yeah. was like, you're stupid. I hate you. Like, yeah. they were saying pretty bad things to each other. Like, at the end, they're just, yeah, you know, it's, it's fine. Game. It's a game. You uh, got me. And then MJ, yeah. Like, for Trisha was like, oh, are you, why are you still <laughs> mad? Yeah. I mean, to be really fair, that and, seemed personal and I understand it. But it wasn't. I know because it wasn't. she if but to if me when they got put, to that point. If she had just put CT that first time. Yeah. Because it was they, all just random. When they got to that point, I was like, this is genius. They totally CT and Trishel totally talked before. Yep. And if it comes down to four or two, let's just vote them out and then we'll share it together. Yeah. Because we trust each other. I thought that that was a genius move that they did. And mm-hmm. then it reveals that Trishel turns on CT and it's like, Oh, you guys didn't actually do that. Mm-hmm. And I saw her in an interview that she was like, no, I really thought like he was playing me because of, you know, X, mm-hmm. Y, and Z that he did, did at the end of the game. But, um, Trishel was like, MJ could have won with me if she would have just done that. Right. But then she voted for her again. I know. So MJ, She's just got to take a step back. Yeah. You can't do that. But but it was enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And now Reality back. TV update. <laughs> Truly. Um, so because this is coming out, we're winding down. But because this comes out on March 18th, I do have to say the birthdays. Yes. Because the number one birthday on March 18th Let is... Let me guess. Is it a president? <laughs> of sorts. Oh. Who? Caleb, the fitness marshal, Marshall. Oh. Wait, Caleb, or, or wait, is this fitness or is this Marshall? This is fitness. Fitness. Okay, right. Fitness. <laughs> he will be 31. Oh my God. Wow. Um, wow, wow so wow. yeah, everyone go tell Caleb, the fitness marshal, Marshall, happy birthday. Uh, beyond that, big birth, big day for birthdays. Yeah. Uh, we have Adam Levine, 45. Okay. Uh, Lily Collins will be 35. Didn't know that she was, I thought she was a little older. How old honest. is she? She'll be 35. Okay. Emily in Paris. Um, Queen Latifah. Love her. Will be 54. <laughs> I don't know if you know this person, but they're a big part of my life. And that is Grandma Droniak of TikTok. She passed away. She will be 94 years old. No, she is a, a very cute and sweet grandma on TikTok that does really funny videos where she'll be like, get ready with me to go visit my dead husband. Oh my God. That's funny. <laughs> and she'll like, you know, go to their grave yeah. or she'll be like going on a date with my new boyfriend. He's like, you know, fine. He takes me out to dinner. Like she, <sighs> it's that. funny. I love yeah. That. Um, sh- yeah, she'll be 94. And then, uh, queen of Broadway, Sutton Foster will wow. be 49. Younger wow. than I thought. Get 39? it, girl. 49. Oh, okay, yeah. And then um, playing Miranda Priestley in the West End, Vanessa Williams, will be 61. Okay, V. So, you know, good day for birthdays. It is a good day for birthdays. I do have a fun game, not game, but conversation, but we can save it for next time. And I want everyone to... Uh, think about this and we can discuss it next time. Maybe you can give us your um, 
feedback in the comments of this and then I'll read them next time. And that is on this day in the Mm. year 2005, um, the movie Ice Princess featuring Michelle Trachtenberg and Hayden Pantier. Um, that was released and that got me thinking of just iconic movies from the early 2000s, maybe, you know, very late nineties, more early 2000s. And I just want to know, like, what are your most iconic movies of that time? How they impacted you? I'm talking like, I'll give you my very first one just to get the ball rolling, but that's the parent trap for sure. Because we just saw the rendering of the Queen Elizabeth II when we were at the Queen Mary, which was very exciting. Um, it fits into this. But yeah, be thinking for next time. It's so funny because one of the most impactful ones for me was uh, was something on my list that I was going to talk about today, but we didn't get to. So I'll just save it for next week. Okay, make sure you put it in the notes. It is in my note. Okay, great. Well, thank you everyone for listening and watching. Um, if you want to send us a speak pipe, uh, the, the link will be below. If you want to leave a comment on anything we've talked about today or on this, you know, movie situation, I can't stand it. <laughs> uh, please do that and like and comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. The A-List.